subscribe and share. Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snelp. And today, we are going to get into another hacking video. In this hacking video, we're going to talk about what's called Zero Day Exploits. Now, you may be hearing about this, especially in recent times, on the news and some other places, Zero Day Exploits. And one recent event that's happened, especially that you probably would have heard with this, is there's a black hat group for those who don't know what black hat is white hacks are the ethical hackers they are the ones who don't break the law gray hats they break the law sometimes but they don't do anything malicious usually they break the law but tell the companies how they're able to hack into their systems so the company can patch itself this is not a good idea most of the time they tend to go to jail black hats they are malicious and they want to tear down systems and stuff like that both white hats and gray hats are actually doing what they're doing to prevent gray hats from being able to do what they're doing and even black hats don't like other black hats as uh, this case in point so there's a black hat team in Italy that is called or was called the hacking team yes that's original and whatever but still they are a very very well-known hacking team they had a whole assortment of zero day codes or zero day exploits and many other things and they were selling it to governments and also departments and within governments around the world one of them being the FBI now this may not be a bad thing overall depending on how the information is used but since it wasn't really used in a proper way or at least it wasn't put out in properly pretty much everybody has to suspect that it was used for a bad thing and i'll get a little bit more into this in a second so as far as a zero day exploit basically what it is is it's a exploit of any type within software or even hardware, but it's just mostly within software that the developer or company that developed the software or hardware doesn't know about. So for example, backdoors, getting into admin controls where you're not supposed to get an information where you're not supposed to, things of this nature. Now, as far as this goes, this is more of a common thing. There's a lot of zero day exploits and most software out there has them. The fortunate thing is, is most people don't know about it until the last second. And a lot of times this is what gray hats actually try to find and white hats are actually paid to find. So let me give you a quick example. Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer 6, 7, and 8 had a zero-day exploit. Microsoft announced this in November 3rd, 2010 because they wanted to tell you, okay, we are aware of a zero-day exploit. You need to do this, 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 and this to make sure that you're not affected and just wait for a patch. In December 14, 2010, they released a patch and basically if you put on the patch then you're good and then the exploit is not existing anymore however most likely and it's extremely highly likely even to today in 2015 people who are using internet Explorer, which is quite a few are not using the patch so with this um Internet Explorer 6, I just wanted you to realize this. It came out in August 27, 2001. That means this zero day exploit, this, the, 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 let's just call it an exploit, it was unknown for nine years. 
Now, that doesn't mean someone was actually using it for the entire nine years. It doesn't even mean that I was using it for any amount of time. But the one thing to keep in mind is it was there for nine years. When a hacker of any type found the exploit, then it became an official zero-day exploit. Usually what black hats do when they find these exploits is they keep them to their self. And that way the black hat is able to gather information or use the exploit to do whatever they want to do. And in some cases they even sell the exploit, which is what the hacking team was doing. And um, what some departments do, uh, companies and also government departments do, they buy the exploits and that way they can give them out for free so things can fix it and that will be a good scenario and that's what really should have happened what really happened or at least what happened more than not is apparently departments like the FBI were buying these exploits but not releasing it out to the companies and in fact, even someone was the Chrome browser. It was an exploit dealing with the most popular browser in the world. But the government didn't, the United States government in this case, didn't actually release the exploits to Google. And Google didn't know about it until the hacking team was hacked and that information was released. In fact, they fixed it pretty quickly afterwards and I'm pretty sure they're steaming over there but there's nothing they can do so that's one thing to keep in mind is if something buys a zero day exploit it doesn't mean necessarily a bad thing but if they keep it to themselves chances are there's something bad because there's no reason legal reason or even moral to keep something like that to yourself so it doesn't get patched it's very very important to note that now as far as things goes why did Microsoft announce this before they released the patch the simple reason why is because the exploit was there it was known and they wanted to allow their customer base to be able to fix certain things in order to for it not to affect them. Same thing happened with Apple. Recently, they had an exploit that was noticed, in fact, all the way back from the starter iPhone. So it's, quite, it's been quite a while since this exploit was out. Someone found out if you send a certain amount of characters, like it's Hebrew and some other stuff, and the same text message, it would cause the phone to crash and restart and over and over and over when it tried to load the message and yeah people use it as a prank but apple they didn't release the oh this can happen or a way to fix it until it was very late in the game and they didn't even try to fix it for quite some time a similar exploit actually happened with google um i can't remember what device itself but google actually fixed it by eliminating a given feature that caused a similar exploit on their devices so there's a few ways to fix the exploits but one thing you gotta watch for is all companies and all software has potential exploits into it and you need to watch how the companies themselves respond to it Small companies, they might not announce that the exploit's even there. They probably just fix it if possible. But larger companies, you really should watch to see if they say, hey, this is a problem. This is how you get around it. If you run into this problem, a, um, you need to have these firewalls up or you need to do this or you need to do that. And if they don't even bother with that, then I probably would look at giving my money somewhere else 
So, as far as that goes, now you know what a zero-day exploit is, and if you do have any other questions or anything else like that, then please feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. And if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe, share, and please feel free to check out our Patreon campaign. If you didn't like it, go ahead and leave a dislike, but tell me why so I can fix it in future videos. Again, this has been Craig Bennett, found on Ultratech for you to know, and hope you have a great day.